doctors and fornicators, especially drunkards. Drunkards, friend, the ones that think they're not going to see God. You wave at God, will you? Will you wave at Him when you see Him? Are you going to tell God that you didn't have a chance? What are you going to tell God when He when you die? Are you going to tell Him, Oh Lord, it wasn't me. I didn't mean no harm. I didn't mean to keep that bar open. Do you know that every time somebody drinks a drop of liquor and you bought it, you're responsible? You understand what that means? God holds you accountable. The Bible says, Woe unto him that gives his neighbor drink. You give your neighbor drink, woe. Woe. When God says, Woe, friend, that means you better look out. And look, here you go. You think it's okay. You fornicate. You flip people off. You think you fool God. You're not righteous, friend. You're an ungodly man. You're going to go to ungodly hell. You are an ungodly man. You're wicked before the Lord. If he takes your life right now, you'll die and go to hell. Look at you. You're going to get in an accident before you even get far. Ain't that something? Look at you, friend. You're going to die and go to a devil's hell. You, friend, you're going to die and go to a devil's hell because you're taking your sin and you think God ain't seen you, friend. He knows you. He knows your name. He knows your life. He knows what's going to happen when you die. What happens to you when you die is a devil's hell. A devil's hell, friend. Right over there. A devil's hell to meet you. Is that how many times you screwed God? What is that, friend? Aren't you ungodly? Look at you. You know what I'm talking about. The Word of God has got your heart, friend. That's why you run in there. That's why you fuss. That's why you fuss. That's why you try and do what you do. You don't think God knows you, friend. But I'll tell you what. There's one that sticks so close to you that you are never going to hide from. His name is God. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil. God lets it rain on the just and on the unjust. God feeds the good and God feeds the bad because God's got plenty of time, friend. He's got plenty of time. He'll be there when you die. And when you die without him, then you're going to see that God. You're going to see that Jesus Christ. You're going to see that one you curse, that one you blaspheme. And by the way, how come when you cuss, you don't say Buddha, damn it? How come you don't say Confucius, damn it? How come you say God, damn it? Amen. You think God is going to listen to your drunk self. You think God is going to be pulled down in heaven by you. You become a God yourself. You become known of good and evil. You've made yourself a God. That's what you've done. You've taken yourself and placed yourself against a holy and a righteous God because my God has not paid you for your sin right away. My God's got plenty of time. How much time do you got, sinner? Mm. How much time do you have? What's going to happen when you die, friend? You die in your sin, hell waits for you. Yeah. Uh, that was on their way uh, maybe to the grocery store, maybe just driving at night, and uh, this drunkard uh, lost control and killed somebody. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm asking for, I'm asking for the legislative to give y'all some hard time for killing somebody yeah. with alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol's the number one killer in America. It's still the number one killer. Just because they allow you to sell it, just because they allow you to buy it, yeah. just because they allow you to drink it, it does not mean it's right with God. Right. God said, woe well, unto them that give their neighbor strong drink. Yeah. The Bible says, wine is a mocker and strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Yeah. You need to come out of that drunkard. You're going to die in your sins and go to hell. Sir, what are you getting that car for, drinking alcohol? You're crazy. Where is the police at when you need them? When they come out of their house, out of their place drinking, their alcohol all exploded up. Oh, I tell you, sinner friend, you need to repent. You need to turn from your sins and turn to Jesus Christ, who did no sin. Neither was any guile in his mouth. Oh, listen, sinner, God's been good to you. God's been real good to you, sinner. He's allowed you. you, you oh, look at that. Real good to you, sinner. You did it. You've been real good to you, sinner. Hey, look at that nasty, that wicked man. You're wicked. You're wicked, sir. You old wicked drunk, you. You old wicked drunk, you. He's a wicked drunk.
We're not homos! Well, here's another reprobate. No remission of sin. Somebody's gonna shed some blood. It's gonna be your blood, and you're gonna die and go to hell, or you're gonna let Christ die for you. My friend Jesus Christ died on the cross to give you a chance. To pay a price you could not pay. To give you grace you don't deserve. To give you a chance to escape the devil's hell. People go to hell because they take their own way. Preacher, what do I have to do to go to hell? Absolutely nothing, friend. Just keep going the way you are. Preacher, how can I get to heaven? Trust in Jesus Christ. Thank you, sir, to change your mind. I hope you never Amen. come back dead of iniquity. Yeah. I hope you never come back in this bar. I hope you realize that 50,000 people will die on the highway this year because of drunks. Because of people who drink beer, alcohol, and wine, they drink a strong drink, they get behind the wheel, and they kill innocent children, they kill mamas and daddies, and little baby girls, little baby boys, and they just don't care. They try to drown themselves in their sin, but when they wake up in the morning, they go right back to the bottle, because they realize that they're the same sinner before they started, they're the same sinner when they get up. I'm telling you, friend, the worst thing you could ever do is get in a bottle and drink it. The worst thing you could ever do is get behind the wheel of a car and drive it. You will not be innocent. You will not be innocent. You will not ever stand before God and tell him that you are innocent. It wasn't your fault. The liquor made you do it. It's not God's fault. He didn't make this liquor. God didn't make alcohol for you to drink and to consume. God made alcohol for medicine to help you and heal your wounds, to clean out, disinfect your wounds, not to drink it and get you in pride, not to get drugged up. You're going to go in there and hide yourself in your bottle. You're going to come out drunk. You're going to get behind the wheel of that car. What kind of father are you? What kind of mother are you? What kind? You're a drunkard. That's what you are. You're given wholly over to the drink. You'd rather drink a drop of liquor than drink cool water. You'd rather take a drop of the devil's water than a cool drink from God. Be sure.